Coming up, we'll see how American cattle producers gain value from beef exports. And we'll highlight a few of the programs that help to grow global demand for U.S. beef. The Drive-In 5 starts now. The Drive-In 5 is a roundup of stories showing some of the ways your checkoff dollars work to drive demand for beef. Let's get started. With 95% of the global population living outside U.S. borders, international trade is vital to America's cattle industry. With the help of beef checkoff dollars matched with USDA funding, the U.S. Meat Export Federation, also known as USMEF, carries out market development activities in more than 80 countries with the aim of growing U.S. beef exports. The effort has paid off, and in 2021, U.S. beef exports reached an all-time record value of more than $10.5 billion. In a period coming out of COVID when the entire world was on shutdown at the retail level, exports exploded, and we set records in the export market. And that's a testament to me of what the checkoff is doing internationally through the U.S. Meat Export Federation. We had a record year last year, 2021, and a lot of the same trend lines and dynamics are holding for the 2022. You know, China probably leading the way, still good demand there. Uh, but we have Korea, we have some like Central America, Caribbean, there's a, there's a lot of markets contributing to this. So far in 2022, U.S. beef exports are again trending at record levels. While it may not seem that a consumer buying beef in the Middle East, Japan, or Korea makes a difference at the producer level in the United States, the fact is every pound of U.S. beef exported results in increased value for America's beef cattle. The reason that, that exports are important to producers is the amount of dollars it generates per fed head of animal. Last year, that number was $407.22 per fed animal. You add that value all the way down. If they can look at that and how that dollar amount affects their bottom line, I think they'll see the benefit in the program. One of the key ways beef exports add value to the carcass is because variety meats, such as tongues and livers, which are not preferred by U.S. consumers, are valued in many foreign countries. Look at some items that if you didn't have those export markets, their value would drop precipitously. Tongues to Japan, short plate to other North Asian countries like China and uh, Taiwan, livers to Indonesia, so these are items that if you didn't have the export markets, the whole value of your carcass would go down and, and so would the value of the animal. To help build demand for U.S. beef in foreign markets, USMEF works in a variety of ways, such as connecting with chefs, using social media, and conducting retail and consumer promotions to highlight the safety and quality of grain-fed U.S. beef. One way to reach consumers is to give them a chance to taste for themselves. Tasting is believing, in short, so once they get taste it, and then they would choose the U.S. beef. And we have a data that the uh, sampling promotion resulted in two or three times of higher sales compared to the pre-promotion uh, period. So it really pays off and gives a tangible result. Mexico is another top market for U.S. beef. In Mexico, beef checkoff dollars help support a variety of education, promotion, and consumer outreach efforts. Beef checkoff is so important in Mexico because uh, it allows us to, to conduct programs. For example, we're using them to implement a program that we call the U.S. beef truck. This is like a food truck, but uh, it has everything inside of it. You know, it has a grill, it has a freezer, it has everything. And it allows us to explore new markets because it's a, I mean, it's a promotion on wheels. Global populations are growing, and with the help of beef checkoff dollars, the story of U.S. beef is reaching consumers worldwide, giving U.S. beef producers a real return on their checkoff investment in international markets. Well, quite frankly, without the checkoff, exports would be a fraction of where they are today. One of the real benefits of checkoff investment is it compounds over the years. Some of the larger markets, take a Mexico, take a Japan, take a Korea that we've been investing in for many years. We have a very strong following of loyal consumers and loyal parts of the trade. And it just builds over time. And this is the goal with the smaller emerging regions as well. The beef checkoff and the work that's being done in the international markets is definitely having a big impact. That demand that we're seeing just continue to grow internationally, it doesn't happen by accident. You have to plan that. And so 
The impact that we're having, again, exports over $10 billion last year, and we should be up exceeding that even this year, I think is really a, you know, a testament to how impactful the checkoff is in these markets. That's it for this edition of The Drive in 5. If you have questions about the Cattlemen's Beef Board and how your checkoff dollars are used, visit the website drivingdemandforbeef.com.